There's an old saying that goes, you can't know where another person is coming from until you've walked a mile in their shoes. Now, we've talked about rapport, but the twin sister of rapport is empathy. And what is empathy? And what's the difference between sympathy and empathy? And why do we even want to have empathy? What's it good for in the claims process? Sympathy is feeling compassion or pity or sorrow for the hardships of some other person. Empathy, on the other hand, is putting yourself into another person's shoes or position or scenario in order to understand how it is that they view the world. When you can truly feel genuine empathy, empathy for what another person is going through, then it makes it a whole lot easier for you to have a positive connection with them and a positive interaction that's not jarring and offensive. Having a strong sense of empathy can help you out, especially in the claims process where you may run into people who are, appear to be upset and your first reaction might be that they're upset with you when in reality they may have something else going on in their lives that is making them feel sad or mad or frustrated. So it could be that they just found out that they have terminal cancer or that they lost their they just lost their job or that their husband is cheating on them with their best friend. You, you have no idea. And to, and to take things personally in the claims process when you're having an interaction with an insurer, with the customer, is not the way to make a connection with that person and to be able to communicate with them the claims process and reassure them that you're there to help. You're talking to a person who's most likely this is their first claim, first and only claim ever. I craft my interaction with the insured when I'm explaining things to them and I keep things as simple as possible without using jargon, without making assumptions about what they may or may not know. Another way is to always treat every single claim as if it's the worst claim. When they see that water spot on the ceiling, they have no idea what that means. Does that mean that the roof is... Is that what, the, what happens when a roof goes bad and you got to get a new roof? The fence blows down, you know, maybe they, they've got to figure out a way to keep the dog in and that's a big inconvenience and now they have to take the dog to a kennel until they get somebody to fix the fence. You know, maybe, maybe the person is, has a contract on the house, they're selling it, they're moving and closing is in two days. There's no way they can get somebody to fix the, you know, fix the paint, the stain in two days before the, the buyer takes possession of the house and so now they have to deal with that and all of the cascade of things that happen or won't now happen because of having to get somebody to deal with this water spot before they give the house to somebody else. This is the, the core of empathy. To treat people's claims, little what seem to be little claims, as no big deal, is to not be using empathy. All right, talk to me in the comments if you have any questions about empathy, um, if you have any ideas for new videos. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so that you can be updated whenever a new video is released. And have a great storm.